Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to create pages in Zoho Creator. These are different from the record summaries, the default record summaries in Zoho Creator. So before we proceed, it is suggested that you go through uh, the basic HTML syntaxes as well as uh, how to add style sheet to a HTML page and things like that. Also, uh, uh, I'm going to be using Bootstrap framework, Bootstrap style sheet. Uh, in this tutorial so you can also go through some of the uh, bootstrap tutorials we'll be using bootstrap 4 in this tutorial okay so they, they give a starter template I'm going to use this starter template and start right from there all right so uh, when you create a new page uh, you can create a new page either from dashboard and click on pages or create new page okay so uh, I can create like uh, a simple page all right I can create a simple page I can pull it under a different section like uh, either, I can call it either pages or I normally call it as interfaces okay I click on create so depending on the version uh, you're using in Zoho Creator you will either land on this page or if you are using a newer version you will either land on this page and um, if you are if you see this one you can write the scripts you can do whatever we are doing by dragging and dropping the script field and you can write right from here all right so here uh, before we get started uh, you should understand the basics of a HTML page you should because we will be working fully on uh, uh, free flow uh, you can also go to script builder and uh, this is how it will be if you're using script builder you can uh, insert HTML and uh, you can write any text like hello uh, world you know something like that if I click on save script we access this application I should say this right here hello world all right so this is how you can drag and drop uh, you know HTML insert HTML task and uh, right here uh, HTML tags here if you want to use uh, if you want to write some scripts you can write like if if else condition you know drag and drop everything so you can do it um, through script builder but I'm going to concentrate fully on free flow scripting because uh, that is fairly easy and you know fast as well okay so basically if you have noticed it uh, Zoho Creator puts your content the HTML that you just wrote uh, between uh, let's call this a closing tag let's call this open tag all right so uh, a closing tag is percent and uh, a closing tag open tag is open tag and a percent all right so Zoho Creator uses this for open and uh, close tags so uh, this is primarily for writing delete scripts all right so you can you will write delete scripts like this right here you can write any delete scripts like uh, between uh, open and close tags and if you are writing any HTML you will write them after closing a tag after I mean after telling the Zoho creator that you know I'm writing HTML this is not a delete script all right this is my static content yeah so like that okay so so we have this hello world right here hello world right here so this is my HTML all right so I open I close this script right here I open and close the script right here in between I write my HTML content this is this is a plain text but we can also write HTML here as well all right so I'm going to take the uh, starter template I got from bootstrap without the script tags remember uh, the script tags are not supported inside Zoho creator all right so I'm going to put it right here okay so if you are if you are looking to uh, uh, develop <clears throat> inside Zoho Creator uh, you should you should just uh, use the free flow all the time all right I go here and also 
do the indentation or we also observe creator like does not do a very good job on indenting the HTML content so we will do the indentation ourselves okay so this is my HTML page and this is hello world okay so I can tell you uh, why this is important so you go here you put it you save it all right so now this hello world after I include this bootstrap style sheet it will uh, change to hello world because that's bootstrap's style you know they use it like that okay they have different you know tags and uh, supported classes like there are a lot of tutorials about bootstraps you can go and learn about it so anyway in this uh, tutorial um, I'm going to use the delu scripting the basic delu scripting and uh, I'll make use of that inside the HTML pages all right so uh, I was I was uh, uh, telling about the indentation so if I refresh this page you will see this indentation will be like this it doesn't make I mean right now we don't have we have only 17 lines of code so we can like easily like split them here and work only on HTML right here but if you have like thousands of lines of code then uh, uh, this you know indentation will you know uh, slow your development so it's it's also like possible that you know you may add or remove some you know uh, HTML tags so it's always uh, better to use uh, text editor your favorite text editor I, I suggest sublime text it's a uh, sublime text they are for like unlimited free trials so uh, it's like almost free but yeah so uh, you can use sublime text and they also support syntaxes um, so if I go view syntax uh, right now this is HTML I normally use Java and Java server page okay so uh, okay let's get started so as I said there are a uh, few things you should uh, know about a HTML page all right so first thing is how to uh, add parameters to the HTML page okay first thing is to add parameters to a HTML page next thing is to uh, um, all right a uh, delu scripts then uh, use deluge variables uh, okay instead of use deluge variables right HTML and then uh, use deluge variables in uh, HTML all right these are the four four tasks that we are going to concentrate in this tutorial right so uh, if you have so uh, let's just start with parameters you can add a parameter uh, if you're using free flow they will allow you to click and add parameter but if you're not using free flow and if you're using it like me then uh, so the very first line tells you gives you the link name of the HTML page and uh, if the link name and uh, the display name they are both different then you will have a display name if you have a one word uh, for both then you will not have the, you will not see this display name all right so here uh, for the parameter I can add parameter just like here I mean within this uh, brackets and add like my parameter okay so we can use this this is like a delete variable this is like declaring a delete variable we can use this anywhere inside that uh, HTML page right so we can use so um, so I go here I copy this put it here I save it I'm using command s or control s to save it or you can also click on save script okay so if I refresh I will say this my parameter here all right if you go to free flow I mean if you go to script builder you'll see this my parameter if you want to add new parameter you can just plus and uh, add a new parameter okay so if you are in the free flow you can add a new parameter by adding a comma my new parameter all right something like this all right 
So this is what it is, but we are going to stick with just one parameter for now. Just uh, my parameter. Okay. I'll also tell you how to uh, uh, pass these parameters to uh, the system of page once we uh, go through, uh, once we learn how to use delete variables in Zoho, I mean in HTML pages. All right. Next thing is uh, writing delete scripts. All right. So let's just take this out. So writing delete scripts. So uh, I mean, uh, as I have uh, told you earlier, so delete scripts are written between this open and close tags. All right. So it starts with open and the percent and you write some uh, uh, some deluge scripts and then you, you close it like this all right so for example uh, we can uh, uh, check for my parameter if like my, or something like if my parameter equals uh, uh, hello all right I can like replace my parameter with uh, uh, hello world something like this all right so this is the delete script I can write this delete script you know between this open and close tag and put it wherever I want to you know so uh, I can either put it here all right between the HTML pages or I can uh, put it right up top so uh, I normally declare all the uh, you know important you know global variables for this system of page up top so right here all right so this is where I declare all my uh, initial scripts so it's a best practice and uh, if you notice here it has a close tag and it has an open tag uh, this is not I mean mandatory because uh, you are not writing any HTML in between these two tags and this is a continuation of uh, this script all right so you can just remove this uh, this line all right so uh, so this opens it start to starts the delete script and uh, you write some delete scripts here and uh, you close it and uh, you, you close it because uh, you are either telling the Zoho creator that this is the end of the script or I'm going to start a new uh, HTML there, all right? So uh, yeah, at the, at the end of the line, you see this, they are closing this because this, this uh, close bracket is for this one, the initial content. So they open and close it right here, all right? So this is how you write delete scripts inside the uh, Zoho Creator and uh, so to write HTML inside Zoho Creator you will uh, use you will use it you will you will close the script and you can write any HTML all right so that's all you do okay so after HTML uh, make sure to open the so something like this okay so you see this if you are writing HTML you should close and that tell the Zoho Creator you know, system that you're writing this whatever is between this and this this uh, close tag and open tag is is a HTML all right so that's how you write the HTML so you close the script okay uh, initiate HTML content all right you can write any HTML content and uh, open it so you can like tell the Zoho Creator team that I'm done writing HTML, all right? So uh, when you write HTML, there are a few tags that are not supported. Um, the very famous tag is script tag because uh, using script tag, you can include external JavaScripts, but that is not supported inside Zoho Creator, all right? And there are other tags, but which are not required right now, but uh, most of the tags are supported, so you don't have to worry about it too much for now. All right, um, this is how you write HTML. Anyway, so now using delete variables in HTML. So uh, this is the tricky part. So when you uh, write delete scripts, you write it just like this. 
all right you write your script like this but if you're if you're using a variable inside a HTML all right if you're using variable inside a script you don't have to worry about this but if you are using delete variables inside HTML like instead of hello world if you want to use this my parameter you know uh, you have to uh, uh, use it in a different way so that's like so that's uh, you can use deluge variables just like how you write a script you know but just put an equal so the script will know it's a, it's an expression or like a one line statement you know or a very or you are using a variable all right so this is this is for one line expression you can write any expression uh, that is like so something like 5 plus 10 something like this all right you can use without the uh, uh, semicolon you can use something like this or right. uh, let me use something like this here all right or I can use uh, uh, my parameter right from here okay so uh, instead of hello world I'm going to use my parameter inside the h1 okay so we saw here the hello world so now we are going to make it dynamic by passing the value to the uh, to the page and uh, if we pass hello it's going to display hello world if you pass anything else it's going to display whatever the value we displayed all right so uh, let's just copy this and save it and uh, so when you when you uh, when you want to pass the parameter to the uh, uh, page what you do is you copy the parameter name okay so whatever this page name is you have this page and uh, the simple page is the link name for your HTML page the very first line and then you put a question mark okay you use that parameter name and pass it as hello or let me pass it as tutorial it's going to display tutorial here okay if I pass hello it should display hello world because that's what we have told this is script to do all right so uh, the time hello it's going to display hello world okay because this script changes the parameter value to hello world if the value is hello and uh, it's going to display here so we learned how to uh, create a HTML page how to add parameters how to uh, write scripts inside a HTML page how to write HTML how to include expressions or deluge variables inside a HTML page all right in my next video I will explain how to uh, include farm data in the HTML page but for this video I think it's enough all right have a great day if you have any questions put that on comments or you can write it to zoho at arbrc.com thanks for watching